Hello and welcome to another Fighter Fork cooking episode. We are in the Kimberley and it is hot as hell. Uh, it's about 42 most days um, Celsius, not freezing cold. And <clears throat> today I'm going to cook up. Uh, this has been the recipe that has had the most feedback of any recipe I've ever made and the most positive feedback specifically. It's pulled pork. Uh, the reason I did this recipe is because I always wanted to do pulled sort of slow cooked meals in a camp oven over a fire and no one was doing them. So I decided to pay my 20 bucks for a piece of pork and just give it a go. And the result has been really good. Um, it's my favorite meal to cook for a camp. The other thing is I'm cooking with my old mate, Ronnie Dahl and he gets into camp late every day uh, except for today because today we're spending the day fishing so i've actually got a bit of time at camp i'm taking a break from fishing and not catching obviously because that's yeah it's what i do I, I never catch anything so step one bit of onion sorry that's not onion that's bloody garlic bit of garlic in there uh, i'm going to put all the amounts on the screen because i do everything kind of by feel um, so this is a, I don't know how many kilos of meat that is, uh, because the labels come off, but this is my favorite butcher, Rob's Craft Butchery, uh, in High Wycombe. Definitely recommend that. Um, definitely recommend Rob, not Rob. I definitely recommend Cam from Rob's. He's, um, Rob is his surname, by the way, fun fact. Um, he has hooked us up massively over the last few months and it has made a massive difference to the quality of the food I've been able to cook and the channel. So yeah, please get behind him. Now, what I do here, get my pork, cut it up into bait sized pieces, I guess, <laughs> about that big. Um, if it has a big bit of rind on it and skin, I get rid of that skin and rind because rind does not slow cook, it just goes tough and a bit shit. So cut this all up and then pretty simple bunch of ingredients. Um, Sorry. Oh, mate. I tried your beer for some bait. Oh, oh look at sold. That. <laughs> Alright, this is bull shark bait. I'll probably get a crock with this. I reckon that's probably two bits of bait, mate. Alright. Yeah. You're good. That's right, I'll sort it out over there. Alright, go find me a crock. Go, go find me a crock. Thank you. Ooh. Stop it, you spoiled me. Alright, thanks. Thanks for the dance for dinner. Cheers, mate. <laughs> um, chuck that all in. Now, a few simple ingredients. We've got a bit of smoked paprika because weirdly enough, even though this is going to be cooked on a campfire, uh, you don't get a smoky flavor. And that's just simply because of the fact that we use a camp oven, not straight over the fire, which is a bit of a shame, but anyway, you get that. Next is some stock. Uh, I'm using bone broth because it's a concentrate and that is really effective for this. And a bit of water because it's concentrate you need to add water. I like to add water about three quarters of the way up the meat and that's about perfect. Also add a couple of very loosely chopped onions. I'm talking a quarter a quarter of an onion at a time. Don't worry everything is going to fall apart in this meal. That's the beauty of it. Nothing is precise. You know the garlic is kind of chopped into eh, maybe a half, maybe a quarter, whatever. It's, it's all very chilled. Um, it's, uh, I reckon it's six to eight minutes prep time depending on your cutting skills. So mine are pretty average, but that's oh, maybe an eighth. Straight in there. Now, uh, a big slug of soy sauce, if you have it. You don't have to use soy sauce. Salt is just fine. I just quite like the little bit of extra umami flavor that it gives. So a bit of that in there. Next is um, a little bit of barbecue sauce. Now I'm just using, this is Coles brand, smoky barbecue sauce. I just use whatever works. Um, 
there's you look you will get a slightly better result from expensive barbecue sauce but don't stress whatever you have in your pantry will do you a pretty bloody good job because all you're really getting out of it is sugar salt maybe a little bit of smoky flavor but you also get that out of the paprika so don't stress bit of barbecue sauce um then a bit of pepper and that's it all i'm going to do is stir this down oh i think the boys have got a barra all right i'm going to go and check out this barra and i'll be right back okay textbook false alarm um had a barra lost it well we think a barra you know big fish but as usual <laughs> the pulled pork is still required. So um, I'm gonna go and chuck this on the fire. In about an hour, I'm gonna check on it, but the total cook time is kind of two to three hours, depending on how much pork you have. I would say an hour per kilo, roughly, uh, but more than anything, go off feel. So let's go chuck this on the fire. So, because I'm in someone else's car, I haven't got my own fire grill and whatnot. So I'm just gonna use my Osbry. I only brought two things up here to cook on and the Osbry is one of them. The other one was this. So I'm using both of them actually. Um, now, uh, relatively low heat and unlike basically every other camp meal where you have 20% of the heat underneath and 80% on top, this one, you can actually have 100% of the heat underneath. That means you can use the devil's fuel gas you can actually do this on a gas burner no worries uh, low heat two three hours anyway chuck it on <clears throat> and I'll see you in three hours <laughs> right eye it? bastard is that a, that's a, that's a is that cashew. A shit? What is that? It's a cashew. Oh, it's like a fried cashew. Is it fried? Alright, uh, we're good. Oh my god, that looks good, dude. Well, fried cashew. Mm. Finally done. I've been told by every single. Oh, that was a little drowned bastard. Um, I've been told by everyone who's here that I look smashed, which is fine. But anyway. Uh, I'm not smashed. I'm extremely overheated in the day. This is with the pulled pork. Lay him out. Put a little bit of a little bit of green stuff and purple stuff and orange stuff and red stuff. A little bit of sauce, as Brody Moss says, secret sauce. I'll let you into a little secret. It's just called Cupy. You can get it at any supermarket. Then, a little bit of chilli, sriracha, and then, roll it up, ooh, 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 okay. this thing has a little bit of um, crunchy stuff, and you can't go past crunchy stuff, in fact, I've done this before and added just chips, it was delicious. Torben, Harry, would you like to try a warrap? I won't say no. Okay, it's gonna drip a little bit. Drip Go a little for bit. it. It's a little bit hot, but I think you'll survive. How is it? Is she crunchy? Is she juicy? That's what I wanted. That is sensational. <laughs> Bloody And brilliant. it's got a nice bite to it too. Good, good. Oh. Cool, mate. All right, that's yours. Thank you. I'll be back for others. seconds. Benny? Mm. Oh ho! Nice. Bit of salad, bit of green stuff, pulled pork, pulled pork, pulled, because you're a Queenslander, pulled, Peel. everyone knows that Queenslanders say pulled, pulled, instead of pulled, you knew it, pool, pool, crunchy stuff, crunchy stuff, oh, oh. alright mate, give that a go, mm. go in deep, stop it, Describe it to me. I want texture, I want flavours, I want salty, I want sweet, all that stuff. 
No. <lacht> No description, just silence. That's actually the best compliment you can pay me. Silence, I reckon, when you, someone's editing my food is perfect. Anyway, I'm gonna serve the rest of this up. Now, if you've noticed that my videography is significantly better than normal, that is because I've actually got two guys I stole from Ronnie who have been helping him out. So thank you so much. If you like this video, please subscribe and like and all that stuff that makes me feel like I've done a good job. <laughs> Give me a little bit of a pat on the back, it'd be fantastic. Down below. Oh, thanks, Rhonda. <laughs>